principle one asks us to find the partial derivative of f with respect to x at the point 3, 2, and the partial derivative of f with respect to y at the point 3, 2. And what is this function we're finding these partial derivatives of? Well, it's f of xy is equal to x to the fourth plus x cubed times y squared minus x squared. So what do we do? Well, our first thing is to find f sub x. So what are we doing? We're finding f sub x. I say we're finding f sub x, and then I write find f sub y. So we are actually are finding f sub x. So um, what do we do? Well, procedurally, we hold y as a constant. The other variables, in this case, only other variable is y. We hold it constant, and we differentiate with respect to x. So we have f sub x is equal to 4x cubed plus 3x squared y squared minus 2x. And then we're, evi we're asked to evaluate. So we, find, we found f sub x. Then we're asked to evaluate at the point 3, 2. What do we do? Well, we plug in our values of x and y. So we have f of x f sub x at 3, 2, f sub x evaluated at 3, 2 is equal to, plugging it in, it gives me 210. Just plug in the x value and the y value, it's simple math. Um, and then, so that's part one. Part two asks us to find f sub y. So find f sub y. Um, f sub y is just going to be the derivative of our function holding x constant. So we'll have f sub y is equal to, well, for our first term, there are no y's in it, so that's just equal to 0. Um, our second term, there's a y, so this will give us 2yx cubed. Our third term um, is also equal to 0, so we have 2yx cubed. And then if we evaluate this at 3, 2, um, we plug in 3 for x, 2 for y. We get f of y evaluated at 3, 2 is equal to, um, yeah, this one's really easy, 2 times 2 times 3 cubed is equal to um, 7. Um, it's really easy. And then I, 2 times 2, 4, 27. Um, what is that, 108? All right, let me double check this one for you guys. So we have um, 2yx cubed. Um, x cubed is 27. Um, and then 2 times y is 4. 27 times 4 seems about equal to 108. Um, makes me wonder if I did this one right. Um, I said it was simple math, but it's actually just a bunch of multiplication. So we have um, simple multiplication, but quite a bit of it. So 4 times... 27 plus um, 3 times 9 times 4 minus 6, right? So we have 4 times 27 plus 3 times uh, 3 squared, which is 9, um, times 4. So this would be 4 times 27 plus 4 times 27 minus 6 would be 108, uh, 216 minus 6, 210. Okay, good. I did get that one right for you. So you should be pretty confident in what these values are of uh, the partial derivative of f with respect to x and y evaluated at the point 3, 2. Okay, our next example asks us to find the first order partial derivatives of um, f of xy is equal to uh, 9x over x squared plus 5y. Well, um, again, this is sort of a derivative problem, but we will find, um, find f sub x first. And the way we do that is we hold y constant. So f sub x is going to be the derivative of... Uh, this expression holding y constant. So um, what do we get? We get the derivative of the numerator, which will be 9 times the denominator, x squared plus 5y, minus the numerator times the derivative of the bottom, which is 2x, 
all over the denominator squared. We're simplifying. This will give us um, negative uh, 9x squared plus, plus uh, 45y over the denominator of x squared plus 5y quantity squared. Um, we're not asked to evaluate it at a point in, in this particular problem, so um, our partial derivative, that would be the answer for questions of this form. Um, we are asked, however, to find f sub y, and we do that by basically the same method, so um, derivative of our top. Um, in this case, we will hold uh, x constant, and we'll differentiate with respect to y. So our numerator in this case is um, the derivative of our numer numerator, der the derivative of the constant is just going to be 0. Um, I'll write it in for completeness. Um, and then we'll have minus the numerator times the derivative of the bottom, which is going to be 5, all over the denominator squared. And that's just going to give us negative 45x over x squared plus 5y quantity squared. Those are our partial derivatives that the question asks us for.